I think it helps you relate and be relevant to the people that are working with you and help have an understanding of the challenges that they face. Well, I think I'm a generalist because I've done it all. Um, I started my career in media relations in you know, a, a different era of media. Um, I moved into doing more association relationships and member relationships and audience relationships while I was in television, and then made the switch over to the marketing side and spent a long time in marketing, advertising, um, ROI, and then made you know kind of the transitions into more generalist public relations in the broadest sense of the term, um, invested in social media, invested in a lot of very different areas. And I think that that combination is what allows me to run the team that I run now because I've got some experience and credibility in all of those areas um, that you've got to stay on top of because the world is changing. One of the, the big themes that we speak about a lot here at the Canada Council, and not specific to communications, but certainly relevant to us, is the idea of adaptive capacity. And I think in this ever rapid changing world, the more that you can adapt and change and absorb to meet different needs, the better you're going to be in your own career and being able to adapt to the next opportunity or the next major shift. And I think that the idea of doing one thing for the rest of your career is just a falsehood that doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So I think the more you can do to keep yourself open to opportunities and to learning, the better. So if you can enter a job and learn social media skills and then you know branch that into media relations and then branch that into reputation management, then all of a sudden you've got choices. And so that's the advice that I give to you know young graduates coming in to talk to me about where are the opportunities, I always say, see what you can yeah. determine, get the lay of the land, see what connects with your skills and interests, and then make choices from there. But to say, you know, I do this and only this, the world's changing too fast. Five years ago, social media strategists were really hot. But the fact is now, just about every PR practitioner has some at least basic oh, sure. yeah. social media skills. So all of a sudden, it's that, almost expected you need yeah. to know this. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the specialty now? What is that added value of being a social media specialist mm -hmm. um, or a media relations specialist? So you can have an area of specialty without necessarily being a specialist too. Well, I think it's that line that you need to walk in terms of what's the next step in your career and being able to identify what that might look like. And maybe it's a couple of lateral moves before you move up in order to get this experience that you're seeking. I also think, and I know the two of you are great examples of this, is that you can get experience in particular areas outside of your work. And I think particularly on the management side of things, right? Like you'll get in an in a entry level position and generalist role, you're going to get a lot of experience and a lot of different communication things. Things, whether that's writing internal newsletters, whether it's contributing to your annual report or a blog or a video production or whatnot, you're going to get those different experiences depending on your workplace. You might not get the experience in managing staff. Mm -hmm. But if you yeah. can volunteer with a professional association or a charity that you're passionate about mm -hmm. and you can lead a volunteer team, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're learning about motivating staff, rewarding staff, recognizing staff, advancing on milestones on behalf of a team, mm -hmm. problem solving within a team. There's some amazing opportunities that you can get that gives you those management skills. Be open. Explore widely and don't be afraid to ask questions.